One of the things I don't do in the book is what most um, scholarly Old Testament theologies do, which is to give a long survey of the, the history of the discipline, what people have been doing for the last 200 years, and the nature of the problems. How can you be both faithful to an ancient text and engage with concerns of Christian theology? Um, I simply don't discuss that at all. I try to get on with things. Um, I offer ways of reading and trying to make sense of the Old Testament. Um, I mean, there's about sort of two pages where I discuss what I'm about, but that's uh, just to get, get the ball rolling. Another thing that I do is to quote the biblical text um, in English extensively. Everything that I'm discussing I have there in translation because although in principle I like to think that people read a book about the Bible with the Bible open beside them, the experience suggests it doesn't always work that way. Um, and I do want the book to be a way of helping people to think about what is going on in the biblical text, how should we better read and understand it. And so I've reckoned that if there's a translation there on the page, paragraph by paragraph, verse by verse, whatever, which I then discuss as we go, um, it makes it easier actually to focus on um, this really is an attempt not to think about scholarship in the first instance, but to think about how we read and understand scripture.